security security is the most important aspect of any application but as we know we have security at operating system level and as well as at app server or web server level then why do we need to implement security at the application level as well well we cannot have security at one level only and then relax saying that yes we have security in place and everything will be fine to understand this let's try to take an example suppose there is a thief who wants to rob a bank and suppose there is only one level of security so directly thief cannot access the bank vault because the guard will not allow thief to enter the vault but suppose somehow thief can bypass or breach that only level of security and once that level is breached no one can do anything to stop the thief from robbing the bank that will make the bank highly unreliable insecure and it's going to lose a lot of customers and not to mention the losses due to reputation hit but if we see in real life you see that there are multiple layers of security so if a thief has to rob a bank he has to cross multiple layers first layer will be the guard outside the bank after that there will be another layer where some tokens will be required or some keys will be required from the manager and even after that there will be another level of security implemented as lock in the vault so the more the number of layers in the security the more difficult it will be for someone to penetrate in this video we will learn about what spring security is really all about and why we should consider adopting this now before we deep dive into that there is a big problem with security that problem is it is not as interesting as the other components of your development because the other feature development will have the visual feedback to the client and is more interesting and developers are more highlighted so due to this mostly developers try to avoid security due to this most of the time security is implemented after the development of features but it does not matter if it is interesting or not security is the necessary component for any application interfacing to the external world so now let's go back to the question that we have asked in the beginning as we already have operating system level web server level and jvm level security in place then why we should need application level security as well so here is the problem irrespective of the security at these levels your application is exposed to the world through apis for the usage so implementing the security at application level becomes imperative so that you can control what operations or actions your users can do so now let's talk about the implementation so basically you do not want to handle the security on your own thus you need to take a help from someone else who can act as a guard for your application so any request coming from outside will have to go through that particular guard and the guard will make sure to ask user who is the user what do they want and are they actually authorized to access those particular resources or not once all these questions are answered correctly then guard will let the user use those resources spring security is similar to hiring that full time guard that will intercept all these requests and based on the configuration and user roles it will let them to use the resources so from the definition point of view spring security is an application framework that helps us to implement the application level security we can configure spring security to match our needs what we can ask spring security for will be login and logout functionality we can configure some specific endpoints to allow for public or other needs of authentication before they can access we can also configure endpoints access based on the roles of the users like normal user cannot access the endpoints which are made for admin users all these things comes under access control in the application security is needed for all the applications but how that should be implemented is different for all the applications spring security is flexible and customizable so it can handle the implementation of almost all the applications 
Now let's see what are the benefits of using Spring Security. So Spring Security provides many benefits out of the box itself. One major benefit of Spring Security is handling the common vulnerabilities. Just by adding the Spring Security in application, we can handle session fixation. So what exactly is session fixation? It is a kind of attack that permits an attacker to hijack a valid user session. So using Spring Security, these type of attacks can be eliminated. Then we have click jacking. It is also a kind of attack that fools the user into thinking that they are clicking on something else, but actually they are clicking on something else. Spring Security also helps in securing from cross-site request forgery. So what all things we can do with Spring Security in our application? We can have very simple username and password authentication. We can also use single sign-on using SSO or LDAP type of services. We can have application level authorization and intra-app authorization such as OAuth using Spring Security. We will discuss these in our upcoming sessions in detail. Not only for the user authentication, we can have security implemented for microservices communications as well. For that, we can use tokens such as JWT. Also, not only at the URL level, we can secure the method level code as well using Spring Security. That means, which user will have access to execute a particular method, that level of security we can define using Spring Security. There are few basic building blocks or core concepts of Spring Security, out of which few of you may already be knowing. These are authentication, authorization, principle, granted authority, and roles. That's it for this video. See you in the next one where we will understand these core concepts of Spring Security. Till then, keep learning.